Wait a minute, is that really? Are you talking about Windows, Linux and Chrome OS in one PC? What's going on guys, this is Kedar here. In my previous video, I have showed you how to install Chrome OS. Well, today we are going to install Windows, Linux and Chrome OS, a triple boot system. And the greatest part is, you don't have to reinstall your existing operating systems. Well, installation steps gonna be pretty simple because we have written advanced script that will automatically do all the work for you. So let's get right into the process. So first of all, we need to download some files to install our triple boot operating systems. Now links to download these files are given in the description below so you can check it out. So first we are going to download Linux Cinnamon. We are going to choose 64 bit version. So let's go ahead and download. So next we will require Rufus tool. This tool can create USB bootable drives so you can install your Chrome OS onto your PC. Additionally, we will require some USB storage device like memory card or USB flash drive. Ok, so next we will require latest brunch release. Well, the brunch release provides stable framework for your Chrome OS. Right now they have two options. Either you can go with the stable build or you can go for the beta testing. Right now I am going to download stable version. So let's click on the stable version and click on to the tar.gz file to download it. Ok guys, so besides all these files, we need a recovery image to install Chrome OS. So the last link given in the description below is for the Ramos recovery. Well the speciality of Ramos recovery, it works on any Intel CPU. As long as you have Intel CPU, you are good to go. So here is the website. Now onto the page, you have to search for Ramos, R-A-M-M-U-S. And there you go guys. Currently number 80 build is the latest one. But this might be different if you are watching this video later on. So go ahead and download the latest one. So now our windows is already installed. So now we will integrate Chrome OS and Linux with the existing windows. Knowledge. Ok guys so jokes apart, let's open up the Rufus tool. So here I have connected 64GB storage device. So let's select this device. By the way you can use 8 or 16GB of storage device with no problem. Then select here, your downloaded Linux Mint Cinnamon 64 bit image. Then click on open. Now keep rest of the options as it is on default and click on start. Click on yes. As per the recommendation, keep it in ISO image mode. Click OK again. OK guys, so now it will create Linux Mint bootable device. This process may take a while, so please be patient here. Ok guys, so now the process is complete. So I am going to close this. Now we need to extract the branch release. So right click on it and click extract. Ok guys, so our extraction is complete. So let's get into the folder. And select the files. Click on cut these files. We need to move this file to our bootable device. So I'm going to choose my 64GB Linux Mint device. Now we need to make a new folder into this device. Let's name this folder as Chrome OS. And paste these files into our newly created Chrome OS folder. So looks like our copy is complete. Ok guys, so we have already downloaded Ramos recovery file. Now we need to extract the file and copy this file into our Chrome OS folder. You have to make sure that your recovery name should be renamed as Ramus underscore recovery dot bin. This is very important. Make sure to rename it. So here we go. I have pasted the recovery file as well. Now to download your multi installsh you need to open the link onto the page, right click and click on save as. Then copy this file into your Chrome OS folder. That's all you need to do guys. Remember these are 6 items and name should be correct as shown here. Ok guys, so our boot device is ready now. So now, some of you guys might not have some space to install our Chrome OS and Linux. So to make some free space, we are going to open up disk management. You can simply search disk management in search window to open it. So here you can see guys, I have a lot of space left over here. But let's say I want to reduce some space from C drive and create unallocated space 
so that we can install our operating systems. To do that, right click on C drive and click on shrink volume. Here in the enter shrink volume, you can enter sufficient volume for both operating systems. Here I entered 50,000 megabytes and click on shrink. If you have this kind of raw empty space, you can just right click and delete the volume. Now you can see I have a lot of unallocated space for OS installation. Make sure guys you have unallocated space to continue this process. Ok guys, so now we need to insert our bootable device and then we are going to turn on our laptop by pressing F2 or any BIOS hotkey that you have we are going to enable the options into our motherboard. So first we need to see UEFI option. So we need to enable the UEFI boot. So into the boot list you have to select UEFI. Make sure this option is enabled otherwise you can't proceed to the next step. Ok guys so now we are going to exit the BIOS by saving the changes. Then quickly we need to press F12 to get into the boot options. So right here EFI USB 1 path 1 generic storage device you have to press enter so right here I'm going to select start Linux mint the first option we have okay guys so our Linux mint is booted up from our USB drive okay guys let's install our Linux mint so let's double click on to install Linux mint installation process is pretty simple select your language then continue here you can select your keyboard layout here you can select your network adapter. You can also install your third party softwares. I don't need it right now so let's just continue. Now here this is very important step. You can choose how you should install your Linux Mint. Right here I'm going to select something else. So that we can install our Linux on single partition. So let's click continue. Now here in my system I have already done some partitions for my windows. So let's keep that partitions as it is. So first click on free space and then click on plus icon. Now we are going to add space for our Linux partition. You can add as much as you want but minimum is 15360. And keep the mount point to slash which is also known as root. And keep rest of the settings as it is and click on ok. So now here you can see the mount point root ext4 file system and the size select this and click on install now let's click continue and you can select your location here now you can type your name password and all that make sure to enable login automatically and then press continue so if you do all the things correctly your installation should begin there you go guys my installation is completed and this is the dialog you will get so right now I'm going to shut down in order to remove my USB bootable drive that I have connected earlier. If you remove the drive without ejecting and then reboot into our Linux system that we have installed in our hard drive. So here we are booted up into our installed Linux system. So the first thing you have to do is you have to connect to the internet. Either you can use your Wi-Fi or you can use Ethernet. So here I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password and let's connect to the internet. So here I connected my Linux Mint bootable storage device that we have already created. Then double click and open this device. Then locate your Chrome OS folder. Here you have to right click and click on open in terminal. So here you have to put sudo space sh space multi underscore install dot sh so this is the command this command will automatically do all the work for you now just press enter enter your password again press enter ok guys so my brother Srikant worked really hard to make this script so please hit that like button and share this video we have also made a subreddit so that you can share your problems and get your problems fixed there be sure to join that as well let's get back to the process now here you will see a gparted window will open up. Here you can see your unallocated space. So just right click on to the unallocated space. Click on new. Just put in space right here. You have to carefully put the 
space otherwise it will not work so minimum I'm going to put 22,000 which is 22 gigabytes approximately and in the partition name you can rename it as a Chrome OS make sure your file system should be NTFS I'm going to select NTFS now click add there it is guys now click on this correct symbol apply all operations then click on apply now click on close so now you can see Chrome OS partition is created and now you can use this unallocated space right here for any other operating system that you have okay guys here make sure you have this kind of a partition table this is our windows this is our linux and the third one is our chrome os here you have to remember the partition name of your chrome os in my case the partition name is sda6 okay guys this is the most important step of the installation process you have to subscribe to my channel otherwise your installation will not complete so right after you do that here i'm going to put my chrome os partition name that is sda6 and press enter now it will show you the partition size to confirm press y and press enter to continue so there it is guys the process will start now so it will take some time so please be patient so there you go guys now after the process is complete you'll get this dialog a new window is popped up this is a grub customizer so after confirming there is no error I'm going to copy this grub entry so here in the menu entry whatever is in the bracket you have to copy it and then press ctrl shift c to copy it open the grub customizer click on plus sign and type chrome os select other and press ctrl v and do ok as you can see new entry is added now you can move this entry as per your choice of order to do that select the entry and click on this up or down button so here i selected linux chrome os and windows respectively as my menu entries now if you are done with the changes click on the save button on the top and close the window there it is guys now your triple boot installation is complete okay guys now you can easily reboot into your system and remember to take out your usb flash drive before booting up please hit that like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and as always thanks for watching